Praise be Jesus Christ. I want to share something a little weird with you today. Some of you are saying, well, that's nothing new. I've been doing some pretty intense spiritual reading lately, getting into some of the deep monastic stuff based on the Desert Fathers, um, which I'll be sharing with you. And uh, especially those of you who are part of my school of reading, I'm going to set you up with some of these bit, uh, books eventually. This, this takes time because you have to contact sometimes the monasteries that publish them and get new copies. Anyways, I'm not going to give you a big long story, but the point is a dream, a vision, a desire has been stirring up within me. I don't know what it means, but I want to share it with you, even though it's weird, even though I don't know if I'm going to be able to act on it or exactly you know, what, what to do with it. You know that last summer, if you've been following me for a little while, I just felt a desire to get out to the middle of Lake Ontario with my paddleboard and drop a drop of water into the sea. And I'm not going to get into a big story about that. If you saw the videos, you remember what that was all about. And years ago, when I was first ordained, I had a desire to build a raft and sit on a secluded lake for like over a week and just be with God. And I did it. I wrote a book called In His Zone, which is about it, Seven Principles for Thriving Us All To. So this is the latest vision and this is the initial stages. Tell me what you think about this. The vision is buy one acre of land. One acre. Put a cedar hedge or some kind of hedge all around it and then go to that place and putter in God's presence. You know what it means to putter, to kind of at a leisurely pace, work at simple tasks and enjoy it. So what I'm dreaming of is basically your own personal enclosure, just like the Carmelite nuns, they, they go into the enclosure to be alone with God. Um, one acre, cedar hedge all around it, you're enclosed and that becomes a holy, sacred place to try to dwell in the presence of God, to be recollected, to lift your heart and mind to God, maybe walk around a bit again, work on tasks, do a little bit of cooking, pray lots of rosaries, read the Bible, do spiritual reading, a sacred place. Anyways, I thought I'd share this with you because uh, why not, eh? Okay, uh, wild, uh, wilderness scripture from Hosea chapter 2. The Lord says, I will allure her and lead her into the wilderness and speak tenderly to her. Viva Cristo Rey.